So people, I am back with another out of this video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys what I've been doing, for, well, for the past day or so in this incredible farm which will allow you to, well, it gives you the best chance in getting all the legendaries. Um, you can literally max out all of the materials you can collect. As you can see, I've maxed all these out. I've got 25,000 scrap that you can't get no more. Um, a thousand leather, we have one thousand iron, and we have ten titanium. Uh, what this does, well, what this farm is, it's basically. Oh, let me. I don't matter if this guy kills me. But what this farm is, you basically run down here, you run to the boss. I'm probably gonna die, but it doesn't really matter because if you die, he respawns anyway, and that's the best thing about this. So we just, I'll quickly demonstrate to you. So he comes out of here. See if you can do anything while I'm here. Probably not, but okay. So there is his name's the captain, as you can see. This guy, as far as I'm aware, has the best chance to drop those the legendaries. I personally myself haven't had one yet. Oh, but I do like the look of that. Um, so once you kill him, you die, and when you die, you respawn literally where I started this video at. So you can just keep here. We go. We can run straight back to him, rinse and repeat, and you do this, and you'll get tons of loot. Uh, I can't say you'll get tons of legendaries, but right now it's the best legendary farm in the game. And I'll show you what the mission is and how you select it and repeat, rinse and repeat it and farm it in a quick second. I'm just killing him again, see what we can do, people. See what we can do, chop him up. If you're caught any of my streams, this is what I've been farming. So I'm, I'm still in search for that, that one legendary. Now more enemies do come out of this door, these breaches, they have a chance of dropping legendaries too. But if you're, if you're strong enough to take them out, that's cool. Okay, so this mission is, it's this mission right up here called Terra Inferma. Now complete the game, obviously, complete the demo. So once you've completed the demo, you can go back and refarm anything, any side mission, any mission you want. But as far as I am aware, this is the best place to do this because like I said, once you kill that captain, you can well die you can uh, let the other ads kill you and it will respawn you literally where i am right here so you can rinse and repeat this now my pal while playing with him on stream got a legend now doing this and his reaction was quite funny because we were doing it for literally three or four hours and i'll show that in a quick second now if you do mess up and you accidentally take out all the enemies or you do progress i'll show you what you can do to reset the mission which you can also do this to reset any mission so if you want to go back and farm any chest that you can get after a boss and um, you can do that so let me just kill this guy again and as you can see I'm on world tier 5 I'll show you what I'm using on my trickster I didn't even activate my uh, crazy bullets then I call them super saiyan bullets as you know yeah if you die here I took him out I ain't got nothing uh, and you die, you'll respawn literally where I started. Now, if you do this in a team, I think there's an increased chance you'll get more loot. Uh, but I can't confirm that. I know it's a lot harder if you're in a party as enemies scale up. So doing this uh, in a team, it will take you a lot longer to kill the captain that's down there. As you can see, I'm doing it relatively easy here on my tricks. And I'll show you what I'm using. Wrong button. I'll show you what I am using. Uh, you can see my arm is more or less max for the demo and I've just got a few additional benefits uh, with these mods that's very important to actually see as well um, a lot of blues will drop here and it's important that you select and use the right mods to basically help you build and farming and things like that so a lot of these things here as you can see help out not all of them do because I do mix and match my abilities depending on what I'm farming but for the majority these help quite a lot now weapons I've got no legendaries I'm just using what I've got here this is probably the best weapon to do this with uh, well any light machine gun with a high magazine size or clip size because my right bumper ability is I can never remember I call it super saiyan bullets I can't remember what it's called people it is called twisted rounds okay so twisted rounds is quite beastly it gives you basically makes you a clip do extra damage now I've got a a mod somewhere which gives me unless I accidentally deleted it and not realize uh, I think I might have I oh, know there it's right there additional Mac twisted uh, this skill is effective for two magazines before triggering the cooldown 
This means I get 200 bullets, people, in this weapon of extra, extra damage and normally power. Absolutely incredible. So I'll just run up to this boss here. I'll pop my uh, bubble, slice him twice because also I've got a mod on an armor piece which gives me two slices. I think that may be on my, no, it's not on my helmet. Where is that? Is it that one there? There we go. Temporal Blade, Slasher. This skill, uh, this skill sorry, can be activated one more time before triggering the cooldown. So I can slash twice. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll do it one more time and I'll demonstrate to you how you can reset this if you want to. Also, another important thing to do as well, which I will show you in a second, because there's a good chance you'll come here, you'll kill him and die at the same time. And uh, if you don't do this, you'll probably lose that loot. And you don't want to do that, people. You honestly do not want to do that. I'm probably am going to die here, actually. Because I haven't got my bubble. No, now I've got my bubble. There we go. Now, like I said, I'm doing this on the trickster. I can't really talk for other builds because no, I thought that was I thought that was yellow then. I thought that was yellow then. Sometimes they pop out and they do look yellow. <laughs> wow. So I'll show you now what you, it's very important you do because, like I said, you can die, and if you die and you don't have this selected, there's a good chance you will lose that loot. Now where is it? Where? There we go. There. Auto loot minimum rarity. Select the lowest rarity of items to be automatically picked up. So what this does is, now I've got mine on common because I was just basically doing it for the materials. You don't have to do this. You can have, if you get full up on materials, you don't need no mods. Really no point in you having this on common, but you can have it right the way up to your legendary. It's probably best you play on rare or epic though, because rares also, I know we're not in the full game yet, but when it comes to the full game, Rares can drop with mods, obviously dismantling items, you get that mod to use on other things, so yeah. It's probably best to have them at rare, which I'm going to leave mine on right now. So if you die and you don't pick up that loot, you will automatically pick it up. Another thing I will warn you with as well, if your inventory is full, that loot will go to your stash, which you cannot access on the demo. Now, seeing as we've got stuff here, and another thing I'll warn you as well, I got a problem of highlighting, you can highlight numerous things and dismantle them all at the same time. Anything really over 20 highlighted at the same time, trying to dismantle, it crashes my game. So just be warned of that, it may do the same for you. But as you can see, I've got no materials for that. And if you dismantle weapons from here, you will get iron. But you can actually go to vendors, which we'll do as well in a quick second, I'll show you. And get this right here, which you can also buy, you get scrap, which you can also buy other things with. So like I said, now if you mess up this mission, you accidentally kill all the enemies here and have to progress. What you can do is to reset this mission or any other mission or all missions, um, you go to the main lobby, return to the main lobby. And it's pretty simple, people. It's pretty simple. Then you'll go down to this here, select story point and select anywhere where you want to resume and select in say what we were just doing there, speak with Jacob uh, to leave for the first city. This is basically the, the end of the demo. But doing this, you can go back and farm more or less any mission. So that's the one I select. I'll go back into it, go back to that place, which I'll show you in a second where to go. And just farm away. It really is that easy, guys. And this is by far the best in the demo right now to earn those materials, earn that loot, even though legendaries are quite rare. But there's some people out there that have got quite a few of these. I want to so the let's go. I'll show you exactly where the mission is. But first, I'll show you the vendor you can sell stuff to to maximize those materials. Because don't forget, if you do plan on purchasing the full game, all your gear will progress further. Uh, well, progress further onto the full game. So this guy here, you can sell your stuff to. Again, I won't get nothing for it because I'm maxed out on things. Well, just for instance, say that, that, and that. You can sell all these, well, a bit buggy. Sell three items, and you'll get resources for them. You'll get scrap for them. So if you need scrap, sell them. If you need scrap, sell your items. If you need iron, dismantle your items. And I'm guessing dad. armor you'll get leather from as well. If you, if you dismantle your armor, you'll get leather. I'm pretty certain, and yeah, Basically, it's simple, it's quite easy guys, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. So that mission is this right here, so you just run over here. And like I said, this is definitely the best farm right now in the game for those materials and those legendaries, as well as just ranking up that gear. Getting that gear as high as possible. Now I do think 
Um, it's around 209, 205. I haven't had anything drop higher than that in terms of verse. Legendaries, I do not believe uh, in terms of armor can drop from this demo, just weapons. Because as you can see, my armor, I ain't getting anything higher than what I've got here. 203 for the helmet, 205 for the chest piece, 208 for the legs or pants. Uh, the gloves, I'm getting a 196. I've had nothing higher. I farmed this for hours. And for the feet or legs, I have. Um, 205 let me just check. I'm pretty sure it is leather you get from dismantling these Wait, didn't pop up because I'm already full but yeah yeah ignore that <laughs> ignore that so to farm that dude just do go this way and we're all the way down here and like I said this will work I mean there are chests around here and in other places you can go run to and farm go back to the main lobby uh, select the mission again, go back into and farm the chest if you want to do that. But well, I've had no luck in terms of anything special dropping from chests, so I just think this farm here is much, much better than you just run to this. Now, we'll warn you there are a group of ads you first have to take out before you can start this farm of the boss, which you'll quickly do, but it isn't too hard, especially if you play solo. Because, like I said, if you play in a party, play with your friends, these enemies get much, much harder for some weird reason that's why I do believe that loot you get more chance of it dropping if you're in a party I don't think that's been confirmed by people can fly but it definitely seems that way uh, let's just pop my bullets why not just kill it quick these guys here as well these breaches I've got a pal I'll show you in a minute actually Woo! there's a lot of reports of the breaches dropping um, Legendaries too. So yeah. Ba boom! Get chat, motherfucker! Get chat, mother. Anybody else? Get chat, motherfucker! There's also a chest right on this corner as well. Where's he gone? Are they? Well, I could not see him then. I could not. This guy here is the nut. Okay, there's not. So, this chest right here, you can farm. There we go. Bit of Lucy auto pick the where do you want that? Nope. From here guys, this is where the farm starts. So again. Run down here. Tell you loot. Just run over here. You can ignore all the other enemies unless you do want to farm them, but again, remember to keep some alive so they can kill you. The captain's right there. There he is. Oh! Oh, activate my super sand bullets and the shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. And that's how it is. Now you can just die. Or if you want to kill the breaches that come out of there, you can hang around for them, but you don't have to. See, also I looted that blue rare for me then. And it's just simply rinse and repeat these people when you fill up or full up on uh, weapons and armor. You can either dismantle them inside of your inventory, like I said, and get that iron and leather, or you can go and sell them to vendors for that scrap. Again, you can only get 25 scrap and a thousand each of the iron and a uh, leather. So yeah, just gonna kill him one more time, and it's gonna end the video, people. I mean, I farmed this dude for so long, and I just. I mean, my look, my RNG is the worst in the world. I mean, no one's got worse RNG than me. You watch me for Destiny, you'll know. Actually, one more. Let's go one more time. Let's go one more time. <laughs> Just get addicted to it. Just get addicted to it. Yeah, after I'm done here, I'll show you my mate's reaction. Yeah, when he got that legendary from here, when we was farming this in a party. That was brilliant. He got, he's like a kid. Kid in the candy shop. I will chop your ass, bitches. What are you going to do, Captain? What are you going to do, Captain? What are you going to do? They're just a green. Again, all these camp people, all these camp people need those mats. Again, like I said. Like I said. Yeah, progress. Uh, you know, you're looting that progress is on. Transfers over onto the full game. If that's what you want to do. And there's a chest up there as well. No, we're going to run that one more time because there's a chest up there I forgot about. The first time you run this, you can grab that chest too. So we're going to do that. 
I'm gonna do that. Grab that chest because chests can drop legendaries also. I'm not sure about the drop there on these. I mean, obviously, the higher the tier, the better. You can do this on any tier though. I have heard um, that legendary, legendary is gonna drop on tier three, four, or five. So yeah, you may just do this on the tier three and get lucky. Well, that ain't me, people. I ain't getting no luck at all. Who are you? Who are you clapping in the back of your head? Huh? Who are you clapping in the back of your head? I have plenty of rares here. What level are those actually? Oh, you're decent. I take you. Nope, lower. Okay, so let's just go up here, chop them up, grab the chest. Just a couple of greens. So yes, guys. That is it. I'll leave you now to watch my mate's reaction of getting that legendary loot from this. It's great. And I'll catch you guys on my next stream if you want to uh, catch me that. Because I'm streaming more or less every day now. This, Destiny, whatever floats your boat. So yes, if you're interested in Outriders and watching someone play, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one. Whoa, whoa, it's there, it's there, I got it, 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 woo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go, let's, let's go, let's go, my G, woo, Hold on. Aha! Yes. Yes. Hang on. <laughs>